Hey guys, um, this is Lauren, and I am Braden Spencer, and we are so excited to start our summer STEM program. Um, so we're going to have seven weeks of STEM activities for you guys, and this is just the first one. Um, so if you want to show them the STEM uh, kit. So this one comes in a kit uh, that looks like this, and it is available at the front desk. And if you look, as you walk inside, there's a whole take and go menu underneath our TV. Um, and it has the list that it has the full list of all of our kits and when they become available. And it will also say if we've run out. So that's going to be a really nice at a glance. Because it's until supplies run out. Right. Um, and, and then even if you run out of supplies, we'll have some templates and stuff on our blog. So you could recreate the craft at home. Um, and we have some really cool, if you've been to our children's section, you should have seen all of these gorillas hanging all over the place. And if you guys do one of our STEM activities and have your parent do homework uh, and fill out the form and take a photo of you doing the STEM activity, then you guys get to come to the library and say, hey, Lauren, the librarian, I want that gorilla. Or random librarian, I don't know. I want that gorilla. And we'll take it down for you. And you can take it home. So it'll be awesome. So it is one oh, gorilla cool. per kid. So um, otherwise they would tear your house apart and eat all of your food. Um, so today's craft is, we're going to learn our activity. We're going to learn about binary code. Um, and it is inspired and like adapted from this really awesome book, um, 100 Easy Steam Activities. Um, and that is by Andrea Scalzo, Scalzo Yi. Um, and it's got awesome stuff in there. So, um, all right, so let's get started. All oh, right. wait, first. So what you're gonna need <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. um, in your kit, you will have, um, yeah, you can just, well, it, just right here, just show. Um, you have a box of crayons. So you're just going to need something to color with. You don't need to use the crayons. If you prefer markers, you can use markers. That's what we're going to use today. Um, and then you also have three sheets of paper. Um, the templates, we have those on our blog. And then another little half sheet that has A to Z on it. And we'll show you what to do with that. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. All right, so the way computers count is different from the way we count. The, what we call the way we count is base 10. That's right, because we go from 1 to 10, and mm -hmm. then we keep going in 10s. Yep. Uh, computers only write in 1s and zeros, rather than 1 through 10. So they can only understand 1s and zeros. That's how they count. So then, uh, what those ones and zeros are doing is it's a language that tells them to turn if you were to look at your screen with a magnifying glass you would see tons of tiny little squares and those are called pixels and pixels are what make the pictures on your screen and the ones and zeros tell what tell a pixel to turn on or off like okay, a light switch. Okay, so like a light switch, yep. yeah. And that's binary code. That's called binary code. And so computer programmers don't generally like write in binary code, but they put things in programs that convert to binary yep. to tell computers what we want them to do. And computers use binary code all the time. Yep. All right. Okay. I'll have to get out a magnifying glass and look at my monitor. Yep. <laughs> And so what so are we doing today? What we're doing is we're giving an example of how this works. So you will have... But with art. I need a... With art. I need a crabby. We have a crab. Okay. Right here. So His the first... Crabby the Crab. So crabby the Crab. And then so the first one you're going to end up doing... So in your kit, it's going to come with a piece of paper that looks... Let's see if I can get it out of the way. That looks just like this, 
Oh yeah, with Except the owl smaller. and the crab. With the owl and the You've crab. You've blown it up for you. So it's easier to see on video. That's right. And what you do is you take that piece of paper and you will, I just put dashes through them, but you can color in the boxes if you want. Oh yeah, okay, so I did it too. So if you, you just want to take your markers and you put any color. I did it totally random. I started with red and then I got impatient and started doing lines like braided. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you assign a color to every letter and the binary code for every letter is shown right next to it so you guys can see how the computer understands our alphabet. And so what happens is now you are putting in the instructions for if this, then this. So if it says this, then you, then you color it that color. Okay, so if it says zero one zero 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 one one, then we know it's the letter it's A, and the assignment is the color green. Unless you're me, because I put in the color red. So they'll all be different, kind of. Yeah. De it depends on if you all do it. So what I did so, is I did a pattern of more green than anything else. So everything I did shows up more green. Oh, nice. Oh, and it's actually, this is the letter A because we spelled out the word crap mm. in binary. Left to right. Right. Um, so C-R-A-B. Yep. And so when you color it, do you have your colored crab? I so do have my colored. You'll want to color in each section with your assigned color. And this is what Brayden's looked like. It's a happy crabby. And then I didn't do the crab, I did the owl. And the owl is a little bit trickier. So we wrote the binary for you here. Um, so you can go, this one is an O, um, and this one's a W, and this one's an L, right here. This is the binary. And so I'm gonna look at my sheet, and my O is red. Red's my favorite color, so I did a lot of red. And then my W is yellow, and then L is red, because I was like, L's got to be red, because that starts the first letter of my name. And then what you want to do with here is kind of what we did with the crab. You'll want to section it off, and you can squiggle it, or you can go straight across. It's totally up to you. And then you can write in the binary if you like. But there still has there has to be three sections for each letter. Yeah, section per letter. And then here is my owl. So I did O W L, and I ended up with a Gryffindor owl. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's Hedwig showing her true colors. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing with this and. But you guys get to make t lots of different pieces of art. So you've got an owl and a crab. Mm -hmm. And then the next one you guys have. Got it right here. Oh, nice. Is uh, you get a camel. Oh, no. Next, oh, no. Next, next no, that's the next one. Here's that's the next, the next one. one. Next one is your wolf and your dolphin. And we sectioned off the dolphin for you. So you don't need to worry about. <laughs> it's like nine letters. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a lot of letters. Um, but the wolf is just four, so you'll want to divide the wolf into four parts. Is there binary printed on this one, or are we not doing that? Um, we did not We did not write out the binary for you, so, so you, have you to. get to write it out on this page. So <laughs> each one, each page gets a little bit harder. And then this last page um, is... Oh, do you have your... Oh, yeah, the blank this one. This is my Let's unfinished blank one. one. So... If you want to show. Got a camel and a butterfly. That's right. Which is we sectioned also up a the very long butterfly word. for you. Yeah, B U T T E R F L Y. That's going to look like a really cool butterfly when it's you're done with it, though. Cool um, and then the camel is uh, just the five letters, so you'll want to section it off in five different parts. Yep. Um, and then, for the very end, you get to do your name. <laughs> so um, you'll want to uh, write out your name. Um, you can do it in binary, or you can do it just as the, the normal letters. But you're going to want to section it off, and then look at what 
your colors are for each letter, just like you have been for the rest of them. And then it show them. Ends up like that. There's Brayden's. And he had a lot of green. I had a lot of green. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had. I don't know if you can guess, but I had a lot of red. So, um, you, you can't, we gave you like four or five colors to work with, but you can use more colors if you want. It's like, we, you don't have to use the crayons. You could use markers. You could go all out. You can write in the binary. You could not write in your name and then just write in the binary and then show your, your parents or your siblings and be like, can you read this? Cause I can. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you can have a lot of fun with this because uh, it's not only it's, it's coding, but it's also art. So it's super fun. All right. Well, we hope you had fun and made lots of colorful art. Because we sure did. <laughs> yes. Well, except the colorful part. There was a lot. Oh of yeah. Green there was in only there. so many colors because you kept doing green and I kept doing red. So <laughs> I guess we're ready for Christmas. I don't know. Christmas in June. But um, I hope that I get to see your guys's art when you come in to get gorillas, or with some of our other activities. So. The next one that we're going to do is an outdoor um, giraffe outside art kit. And you guys get to draw a life-size giraffe. <laughs> and, you know, I had no idea. Like, I knew giraffes were tall. And then I measured out how tall they were. It's very and it, surprising. It blew my mind. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you get to do it with Kaylin and Lark next week. So, hope you guys have fun. See ya.